good afternoon and good evening to you, the great and wonderful people of the tube. Hope you are today. Hope you are feeling grand and all is well in your world. Hello, hi. Today I would like to answer a question which I get uh, a few a few times on YouTube. Uh, why do I prefer solid state amps over valve amplifiers? Um, lack of a better word, I just do. Um, goodbye. No, I'm joking. Uh, uh, I'm not going to go massively into detail because I could literally talk about it for hours and hours and hours why I prefer size to amplifiers but I just want to kind of like uh, talk about kind of the main so if I can kind of think of the main reasons really it's it's um, consistency of sound uh, kind of weight is another issue because because uh, I play pub gigs on my own roadie so I have to cart stuff in and out of pubs and Sometimes that means stairs. I am not going to be lugging a Marshall Super Lead up some up like eight flights of stairs to get to the stage. That's not going to happen. I'd rather much take one of these things. Um, uh, sound difference. I don't hear a difference. Uh, I never have heard a difference between valve and solid state, and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, and price is kind of they're kind of the main reasons. Price being simply, I can't afford to keep a valve amp going. Uh, I have had valve amps in the past and it was always a struggle when it came down to re rebiasing, revalving, servicing it. Uh, it was always a struggle trying to get the money up to get it done. And uh, if I didn't get it done, I didn't like to use it because I know how dangerous valve amplifiers can be. You've seen it um, firsthand. And it makes me a bit uneasy not having it serviced and pat tested regularly basically like you know uh, once a year I used to get mine serviced pat tested um, re-biased make sure everything was running fine on it because uh, they, they just they kind of make get, put me a bit on edge sometimes because I've seen some of some of the the ugly situations you can get into with valve amplifiers but anyway that's that's beside the point um, but it does it does come down to cost. I, I couldn't afford revalving it. I couldn't afford servicing it and biasing it. And they're, they're so expensive as well to buy. And I was, it, it was just. And I'm, I'm not a rich person, so I just couldn't. I just couldn't afford it. I mean, that was that was one of the reasons. Uh, another reason is tone. I've never heard the difference. I'm not. I don't want to set myself up for, for other people saying you're you're an idiot. You're wrong. It's like I'm not an idiot. I'm not wrong. I'm, I can only speak for me. You're speaking for you. We are two separate people. Um, you know, I hear things differently to everybody else, out, out, out else, and I just don't hear a difference. You know, I plug into uh, my Orange or my Marshall here, or a 1960s Super Lead or, or a 1950s Fender or, or whatever. I, I don't hear a difference. I don't hear, I don't hear that so-called warmth that valve amplifiers have that solid state amps don't have, or organicness or whatever. I don't hear the difference. I just, I just don't. And again. You know, I'm not trying to upset people. I'm not trying to kind of cause arguments. I, I can, I'm just speaking from my perspective. I just don't hear. I don't hear it. It's, it's, it's literally as simple as that, really, for me. Um, yeah, and you know, I, I, I just, I don't know. It's just something about that solid state amplifiers that I love. Yeah, I love the fact I can just turn it on and, and go away straight, go and start playing straight away. Um, consistency of sound, I love that. If valve amplifiers don't get the power they want. Uh, they can be a bit finicky, uh, especially because, like I say, because I'm doing, because I do a lot of pub gigs um, and stuff like that. Pub power can be a bit iffy at best of times, whereas a solid state amp will go with iffy power. Uh, a valve amplifier will be a bit more stubborn and go, no, I'm not enjoying this. And I have had like occasions where my valve amplifier is, uh, I, I had a, a small box plexi that would either go really dull or super bright depending on the power. If it was getting too much power, it's always used to go really bright. If it was not getting enough power to uh, to, get, to kind of see where it wanted to be, it would be really dull. And I could literally have presence treble uh, flat out and it would not make no difference to the sound of the, the amplifier. It would just sit like, no, no, doing it, me. And it, you know, that, to use the word organic outside of the subject of tone on valve amplifiers, they are organic in that way. They do want, uh, they they respond differently to power, uh, whereas whereas like you know, a solid state amp will just kind of go with it and um, just kind of you know give you what you want out of it. And as I said, I just love that consistency. I always have, and I I have a sound in my head, and if I can't get that sound in my head, I am not a happy bunny, and I find it really I really struggle to play. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate with that. If you plug into an amplifier and it's just not there, you don't play as well as you do if you plug into an amplifier and it's just like, oh, I'm on. 
So, you know, they're some of the main reasons, really. It's, it's you know, it's cost, it's consistency of sound, uh, size, weight, you know, um, my, my small box plexi used to win absolute ton. That's not really an issue, in all fairness, but, it, you know, it, after doing a, a two and a half hour gig, carting it back to the van and then having to drive all the way back home for like two, three hours and then loading it out when you got home at three in the morning and it was dead heavy. But that, that became an issue there and it became a bit of a nightmare. Um, that's a very small issue though, weight. I'm not really that bothered about weight to be fair with you, but that is a bit of an issue. But stuff like that, and yeah, simply I just love them. And I say these these two amplifiers here feel, you know, I mean, it might sound a bit weird, but they do feel like they were made for me. I just plug into them and I just don't get a sound that I don't love. Um, regardless of guitar, regardless of uh, conditions, um, weather, heat, air, power, whatever, no matter what, I always plug into these amps and the sound's always there. And I love that about sized amplifiers. I can just, I can mark my settings and have done with it. And I, I'm one of those people, once I find a setting, I don't tweak. Uh, I, I, I gig, I'll put the setting in. I haven't changed my settings on the CL120 since I got it. I ain't changed the settings on my Marshall in since I got it many, many years. I just literally turn up at a gig, put the settings on the amp, turn it on, and I don't touch it for the rest of the night, uh, other than to change reverb. Other than that, that's it. And I love that. I absolutely love that. Whereas with um, a Plexi, or uh, any other valve amp I've had played through over the years, it's always been kind of like, throughout the night you will have to tweak it. And that kind of gets on my nerves sometimes if you tweak it too much and it goes away, the sound kind of goes away and you have to kind of struggle to uh, you know to fight, find it again. It just gets a bit, got, got on my nerves. So I love the consistency of solid state. I love that they're just, it, they're always there. They, they kind of go with it and you know, I just, I just love them, I absolutely love them. I, anyway, I don't want to keep it too long, I know the video's gone way too long than I expected it to be as it is, and I could talk for hours on end about this. Um, yeah, but that's the reason really, I absolutely adore uh, solid state amplifiers. I adore, adore valve amps though, you know, I just like solid state amps more, and I say they're more in my price range of uh, what I can afford to buy and run really. Um, I have always wanted to own a Marshall Super Bass, but anyway, uh, maybe one day. Um, Anyway, yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you again very, very soon. Hope you have a great morning, afternoon, and good evening, and I will see you again. Goodbye now. See you later. Oh yeah, and by the way, I hope this has answered the question. Hopefully. See you later. Bye.